This video is going to cover the camera menu on a SuperCircuits NVR. The main focus of this video is going to be adding and removing cameras using the plug and play method and also adding cameras through a network switch. We will also cover the options inside the camera menu including upgrading cameras via the cloud. Let's get right to it. The first thing you want to do is access the main menu of the NVR. So if I right click on the screen here and go to menu, it will take you directly to the camera option of the menu. And this is what we're going to be covering today. Initially, as you can see, I have two cameras connected to this NVR. Both of these cameras are connected via the plug and play feature, which uses the super circuits protocol automatically. So when you have a brand new camera directly out of the box, all you need to do is connect it to one of the POV ports on the back of the NVR. When you do that, it will use the super circuits protocol and connect automatically to the NVR. Starting from the left hand side, we have the camera field, which will give you the port number that the camera is connected to and the name of the camera. And this can be changed in the OSD menu, but by default, you will have these default camera names, IP camera 01, IP camera 02, and so forth. Moving on, we have the IP address, which shows you the IP address of the camera. Over here, we have status and the blue play button here, which means it is online. So if you click on that blue play button, it will give you a preview of that image. Moving on to protocol, we have private, which means it is using the super circuits protocol to add this camera via plug and play. The model number of the camera. And towards the right here, we have the cam config option. If you click on that, it does bring up a dialog box that shows you some information about cameras that are already connected to the NVR. If you did have some available cameras plugged into a network, they will show up here on this list. And we'll go over that in a second on adding those cameras to the NVR. Below here, we do have the information that is pertaining to the camera. So we do know that it is using the plug and play method. And it is a private protocol, which is the super circuits protocol, the IP address of the camera, port number, and so forth. And last, we have details here. If you click on that, it's gonna give you a little bit of information about the camera, the remote camera ID, the vendor, which is super circuits, and the port number of that camera. Moving on, if you want to add an IP camera through the network, make sure to connect that camera to a PoE switch. You also want to make sure that the NVR and the internet provider's router are both connected to the PoE switch. Once the camera is powered up, you want to go to the NVR and hit the search segment option. That will automatically populate the start and end point of your network. Hit the search option. Once you notice that the camera is discovered on your network, right now the camera has an address of 192.168.1.182. Let's say we want to change that to 183. So what we'll do is we can use the net config option here. Currently the address of the camera is 192.168.1.182. We're going to go ahead and switch that to 183. Going to remove that two out of three. Make sure that subnet is in there. Just click in that field. And then we'll put the password of the camera, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the password from the factory. We'll hit apply here. And you notice that the camera did switch to 1.183. Let's say we want to add this to channel two. So what we need to do here is hit the cam config option for channel two. And you'll notice that it does already display the camera that is available. This is the camera that is plug and play, which is the 172 address and the status is already added. Right below that, we do have our network camera that's connected to the PoE switch. And this is the camera that we want to add to channel two. So if we select that, notice that below here, all this information is automatically filled out for you. The only thing you need to do in this field is remove this password and type in the password of the camera, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Super Circuits cameras come with one, two, three, four, five, six as the default password. So if you haven't changed it, that's the password you're gonna use. Once you put the password in, you wanna hit the okay option. We'll give it a few seconds here. We'll hit the refresh button a couple times. And as you can see, that camera did populate here under channel two. It does have that blue status for the play button, which means it is online. If we click on that, it does show us a preview of the image there. That is the quickest and easiest way to add a super circuits camera through the network using a PoE switch. 
Moving on to the advanced tab, you do have the option to do cloud updates for your cameras. In order to enable the cloud updating, you want to make sure that the P2P option is enabled on this NVR. So if we go to network here on the left, across the top we'll go to P2P. We'll notice that the enable P2P checkbox is selected and the device status is online. If we go back to the camera menu and go to advanced, we can put a select all checkbox here to select the cameras and then we can hit the check new version. So you'll notice that the by cloud icon does show up for camera one. So we'll go ahead and select that camera and then hit the cloud update icon. It's going to ask us upgrade the selected cameras. We'll hit OK. And that is updating the camera as we speak. If we scroll over to the right here, we'll show the status of the upgrade. So we can go ahead and let that finish. Once the upgrade is finished, you will see a status of upgrade complete. And that means the camera has been upgraded to the latest firmware available. This concludes the overview of the camera menu when adding IP cameras using the plug and play method. Also adding IP cameras using an external POE switch and using the cloud upgrade option for IP cameras. Also, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future video updates.